Hello guys, good morning. We are grocery shopping first thing in this AM. The cart actually looks pretty full, but honestly we didn't get a whole lot. It's mostly full of just like not packing it correctly. And I found some clearance pasta. So that's kind of cool. Half price on that. Um, but yeah, got some clearance meat. Stocking up on a few canned things like canned beans and green beans. I got the crackers, buy one, get one free. And they were half off for clearance, which is cool. So yeah, that's what we are doing this AM. What's your prediction? 450. <laughs> Better not be 450. I'm gonna say 285. Wishful thinking. <laughs> total <laughs> it was two hundred and sixty one dollars and eighty four cents and lucky me I happen to have exact change like coins which never happens I usually have to break a bill but I happen to have exact change two hundred and sixty one dollars I actually think that's pretty good we got meat for the next two weeks and milk bread, eggs type of thing, snacks for the girls' lunches, plenty of pasta, some canned goods. It's not too bad.
those of you that don't care about ASMR, you probably could not give two you know what that I posted that. Normally when I do my restocks, I try and compile them all into one video and put it on my other channel, but I was just feeling, you know, like I wanted to get it done and I thought I would share it with you guys. I haven't vlogged a whole lot. I uploaded a vlog from March 20th, March 20th, uh, a month later that I'm that far behind. And the truth is, is I just don't even have a lot of footage because I vlog mostly on the weekends. I'm off today. I happen to be off this weekend. We're doing lots of Girl Scout things. So on Fridays is normally like my longer day. I'm working just a regular, regular old shift tomorrow. And so I will see patients all day long. And then as soon as I'm off work, I'm going to spend the night at the Duseum with Maddie for Girl Scouts. And then we're spending the night. We're going to be there till 8 a.m. And it's just brownies. That's why she's only going, not Autumn or Emmy. And then Saturday, Bianca is picking up Emmy. She's earning a badge or two, some digital coding badge that Maddie and Autumn already earned on Zooms a couple weeks ago. Emmy's earning it in person. So she's going with Bianca for the cadet level. And then Maddie and, well, and Autumn is doing her, one of her journeys so we are going to a community garden to garden and yeah it's uh it's gonna be fun <laughs> it's gonna be a long day it's what it's gonna be it's also gonna be a long day because i just know i'm not gonna get a whole lot of sleep at the doozy i'm sleeping on the floor and then going to garden all morning uh yeah it's just gonna be a long day but that's fine we don't have anything going on on sunday so I will be vlogging this weekend. Um, and yeah, I just, you know, it's one of those things like I'm just not in the routine of picking up the camera as much as I was. I did my nails. They're very, very sh light, shimmery, pink gold. Uh, I haven't been into doing lives from my color street either, but I have a ton of nails to share with you guys. So I'm thinking about doing a live sometime. I just haven't. And my days off are filled with doing errands because when you only have two days off a week, it's like, I I just don't know how people do it working full time. Like, when do you, with four kids, I, I barely have time. And then track season is now over, which has made it a little bit easier because I don't have to wait for Emmy to get out of practice. I think the summer honestly will be a lot easier for us to do things because it's lighter and brighter outside it's warmer it's been rainy here the last like week and a half and yeah i just don't have the energy after work because i'm out of shape and i eat poor and we eat on the go a lot so when i try and go grocery shopping i try and do it on my days off so that i have food for the rest of the week and whatnot and it's just been kind of like blah so yeah that's that but that's why i decided to include that footage because i was like you know what i don't have anything else i have errands to run so i put gas in the car i really wanted to get a car wash but it's rainy it's like on and off sprinkling so there's no point in that and most car wash places don't let you go and just use their vacuums unless you pay for the vacuum separate i have a shop back here and plenty of car stuff so if i really wanted to i could get out there and clean the inside of it myself but I don't want to that bad. <laughs> I kind of need to go to the Girl Scout shop, but it doesn't open up until 2, and so it's 12.30. I really don't know if I want to do that. I've been, like, moseying around the house, putting away things here and there just very slowly because there's no urgency. No one's here. Andres is at work. The girls are at school. So I'm like, oh, the couch looks good, you know, <laughs> so I've just been chilling. I budgeted yesterday. Ooh, I got this. Oh, my iPad's upstairs. I got this new screen protector for my iPad, so I'm excited to film the cash stuffing this week with you guys because I'm curious to see if the glare will still show up on it. On my old screen protector, it was kind of a shiny one, so my writing was really slippery on it. I actually don't find that my handwriting is any better on the new one, but it's kind of cool to have like a matte surface to write on. And yeah, so I'm excited to film that this week, but... I spent my entire grocery budget plus $21 out of, did I take it from household? 
I think I took it from household. And the only household thing that I bought was uh, one bottle of shampoo that was like three bucks. And that's it. And the only, we were using this for the dogs, but we actually bought dog shampoo separate. And so I bought this for Everly. And uh, truthfully, I mean, she could use regular shampoo, but I figured I would do one more bottle of baby shampoo for her because she's still trying to get the idea of like putting her head back without getting it in her face. So that's it. So like I said earlier, I mean, no, I think I was talking about it in my actual grocery haul. I had been budgeting $240 for every two weeks and it's just not cutting it anymore. It's not. I mean, we're a family of six. That's $480 a month. My grocery budget before inflation even started to go up when we were home during the pandemic was six to $700. And we were, I mean, like stocked with food. I feel like this food is barely lasting us two full weeks. And I don't know if it's more because me working full time, I'm on a, I eat breakfast every morning, I eat lunch, we eat dinner, I have a snack at work, the girls have been taking their lunches. I don't know if that's what it is. And like when I was here, I just kind of ate and grazed whenever I wanted to. I don't really know, but this $240, and I even use coupons and things like that to get to that 261 today. So yeah, blew my entire, which is fine, that's what it's there for. Took my entire grocery budget plus a little bit of my household budget. And we've eaten out a few times. In fact, tonight I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner because as soon as I pick up the girls from school, Maddie has piano practice, and which this that's something new. I don't think I've talked to you guys or shown you guys, maybe in like, I don't know, my cash stuffing video where I've talked about it, but she's been doing piano lessons, which is super exciting. I've never had any of the kids, they all do choir in school, but I've never had any of the kids play an instrument. So she's been doing it. We purchased a keyboard that is actually, I don't know the proper terms for it, but like a full, the keys are full piano. Full piano weight, I think is what it is. And she's gotten really good. I mean, uh, you know, for an eight year old. She's had just two weeks, this is her third lesson. And she already knows like four songs. I'm, I'm super impressed, super impressed. Basic songs, of course, but very impressed. I never learned how to play the piano, but I was always told my hands probably would be good for the piano because my fingers are long and skinny and my hands are big and I would have a lot of reach, but I never pursued that. I was always in choir or sports. So I'm glad she wanted to do something like that. But because of that, <laughs> we are busy like every day. Autumn is in swim lessons twice a week. We go to Girl Scouts at least once a week, sometimes twice. Uh, Emmy was in track Monday through Friday practice and then she was having meets every single Saturday. Um, I work every other Saturday and we have piano practice now. So. You know, we just got lots of things going on. And because of that, it's keeping me busy. And by the time we get home and get dinner and everything, it's just a lot. So it's been a lot to vlog on my days off. This is the first one that I've had where I'm by myself. Like Andres was able to grocery shop with me this morning, but now I'm on my own. And I kind of like it. It's nice just to sit here and do nothing. Good morning. Hi. Where are we going? Zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. More specifically, Aquatica. Yeah, we're gonna go swimming. Hello, good morning. I did not vlog yesterday because we had a full day plan yesterday, but um, we all slept. Emmy had, she was at um, Girl Scout. What badges did you get, Mama? We throw this baby. Two coding badges. Anything else? No, just that. It's a banana. Two coding badges. You did. You designed a game, right? You coded. Oh. I was talking to Emmy. You uh, coded a game. Was it cool? It was. And then she got to hang out with Miss Bianca. They went and grabbed pizza and they got ice cream. She hung out with her daughter, which was cool. She doesn't get enough like big girl alone time. So that was nice. Uh, Maddie and I slept for like four hours when we got home. What? You finished it? Yeah. All right. Good job. Um, she was talking. But she was not talking. So she was she just got up out of bed, but it was, wait, mama, what time was it when, when she got up? <laughs> it was like 
too. Uh, we got home and we were supposed to go to gardening, but it was raining. So they canceled the gardening event, which was fine. We went home and we were just being little bums. And then we all fell asleep for a nap, which was nice because we did not get a lot of sleep at the museum the night before. I have some footage. It was a cute. It was cute. And you got a badge too, right, Mama? Yeah. She went to the museum for that and for 246. Uh huh. Yeah. So it was fun. I have some cute footage from that. She got to spend time with one of her close friends from the troop, which was cool. So they got to sleep together and stuff and um, set up their little area and we didn't go to bed until after one. And then we were up at six and probably between one and six, it wasn't even that great of sleep. So we slept yesterday and then we just and went through the house. Nothing. Yeah, she had muffins for breakfast. It was cute, it was fun. We always have fun on those events. They're just draining. So yesterday we chilled, we went through the house a little bit, got through, like downsized some of their toys and some of their clothes and we ordered a shoe rack. I'll have to show you guys that later for the little girl's shoes just to kind of get organized because we are getting rid of the changer downstairs which is super sad. I mean, it's just like a big milestone for us. We've had that changer since Maddie, before Maddie was born. And so it's, what baby? No school. Today. No, school. Um, no, we're going to SeaWorld. No school, that's right. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a big change for us. We've had that changer for almost nine years now in that same spot. It's gone through all the kids in the family and I just, uh, all the diapered kids I should say. And I just, it's sad, but it's time for it to go. So we had to figure out something for their shoes and things like that. And especially now that we're heading out of diaper season, who thank the Lord, because they're so expensive. But yeah, that, that season of our lives is done. I know. No, but that's for, that is not, I think that's for employee parking. So, we originally, Cornival in Holotus is in town this weekend. We originally were going to go there. We had told the girls yesterday, and then this morning, the weather, I mean, it's cloudy, but it's decent. So I gave the girls the option if they wanted to go to the carnival, or if they wanted to go swim at SeaWorld, and unanimous, unanimously they picked SeaWorld, which is surprising. I thought for sure they'd want to go to the carnival, but I guess not. So, we're swimming at SeaWorld. Go ahead, Adam. Not for cotton candy, that's why. Oh, you're not hungry for cotton candy? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. You want cotton candy? No, not you either? Okay, good. I only want Oh, you only want healthy things. Okay, we'll see. We'll see later. No, I think you passed it. Yeah, that one was it. Like, uh, what, what Baby, how many times have we been here? Did you get what you needed? Yeah. We had to stop at Valero. I thought you were going to come out with a monster or something. Oh. So that's what we're doing today. We have laundry already going at the house. We did one load, transferred it to the dryer, and then set a, what is it, a delay timer for the washer so that we have the second load done. Yeah, we're going to SeaWorld. You excited to swim? What? Yes, you're going to swim. Yeah, you're going to get in the water. You don't want to swim? Me and I'm not. I'm not a swimmer. Thanks all. Have a fantastic day of water here in Aquatica. Oh, you have a hair stuck in your mouth. I never know. Hopefully they... We're tired. Yeah. It's gone. Did you have fun swimming today? Huh? Look at mommy. Did you have fun swimming? Can you use your words? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it needs to be clean. There's a sock, lots of dog hair, and the wee thing. 
that we don't even have anymore, so I don't know why it's there. But not too bad. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this area. Okay. This is already getting dusty, Manny. We need to dust it. Okay, we are going to do Ode to Joy. You wanna film me, Mama? Here, let's see. You wanna help, Mommy? Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay. I wouldn't have got it. Okay. You want to do it again? Yeah. Okay, Shabba. ready, Shabba? Go. Ready? Let's see. <gasps> Maddie can do it. Yep. I'm just saying. See? Let's see. Hmm. Watch Maddie. No I touch, want, okay? I want to see how high each one is. Girls are in there playing. I'm about to figure out what we're doing for dinner. But with two kids sharing the, a small closet that's not actually made for like closet closet, it's, I mean it is, but it's not made for two kids. It was made for like a playroom closet because remember this area used to be a loft. And although it was made to convert into a bedroom, a single bedroom, not necessarily two bedrooms. So, and we're holding on to clothes that our keepsake stuff so like in here is keepsake stuff for Everly I don't have a bed to put it under all the other girls stuff is underneath their bed I don't have that for Everly quite yet so when I do that'll go um, and then this is stuff that doesn't fit Everly quite yet but needed to be hung up instead of folded which I actually could probably fold it and put it in that bin anyway everything else is Everly's so this is the over the door hanger so shoes that we're still growing into on the first three rows. Um, Autumn's until there, and then her Crocs, and then Everly's until there. So a lot of this stuff, like the cool thing is, is with hand-me-downs, a lot of these are hand-me-downs, not all, but a lot. And once they're done, they're done. Like once Everly's done, there's no more kids to save them for. So they are going and a lot of autumn stuff she's so rough on i can't even save it for everly i mean that's her school shoe <laughs> she's not even wearing these anymore because that's what they turned into and then look at the black ones i mean much better but if your kids school shoes don't look like this i guess you know i don't know i don't know what to tell you she these are her new crocs these are the old ones. So, you know, she's just so, so rough on her stuff. So as she wears it, I mean, if it has a hole, if it has stains, it's just going. I'm not even saving it. But these are clothes. Some of them she still needs to grow into. Dresses, fancy dresses. And then this is all of her short and long sleeve stuff. Uh, so, uh, autumns. And this is all she has. She does have in the bottom of her bed, she has... Um, pants and shorts and pajamas and then what I did was I had that hanging up here but we really needed the extra space Emmy was not using this at all we were putting bows and socks in it total waste of space uh, I, I had asked her when I bought them last school year and she's like yeah yeah I want one but I really think she just didn't want to hurt my feelings or something because she's not using it at all which I don't blame her she's a big girl she gets dressed in her room I have no problem with her matching up her uniforms and stuff so what I did was I moved Autumn's stuff that was in here to this, and now the whole floor is completely clean. She can come in, it's her um, socks, underwear, um, like leggings, and then bathing suits. And so she actually has a drawer free, which is awesome. And this summer, I really will get an idea of what fits her, what doesn't, because right now they only wear regular clothes on the weekend. 
So same thing shoe wise, <laughs> like this summer, once a she grows out, these are a very good point. Like that's not going to make it past the summertime for Everly to wear for sure. Um, and some of the other shoes, like Maddie took really good care of her shoes. Um, but Autumn, Autumn doesn't. So, you know, totally fine. Different kid, but that fits so well. And it just goes right over the door and it's just one extra way to <sighs> declutter their room a little bit because yeah, that's the mess that I'm left with over here. And this, it's going to be a lot better too because this changer is about to go. All the diaper genie stuff, the diaper, all that's about to go because Everly is on her way to using the big girl toilet finally. And here's another bag to add to our collection. I got burnt at SeaWorld today. I actually don't know how well <laughs> that's a good representation. I don't know how. It was super cloudy, put on sunscreen, and I still got a good amount of sun. So I don't know what happened there, but I need to organize this over here, but I need to figure out what's for dinner priorities. So I don't, I think this is going to have to wait, but oh my gosh, they just have so much stuff. You guys. <laughs> And the problem is, is because they're all like similar in age. Emmy's the only one. Maddie's starting to keep all her stuff in her room, like gift wise, whenever she gets stuff for her birthday. But the little girls cannot keep stuff in their room. So we have everything out in the playroom. And, um,. That's what that looks like. Yeah, that's super cute. You got that for your birthday, right? Or for Christmas? Christmas? Cute. Yeah, it's just a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess up in her. Emmy's the only one that got some sun. You look okay, baby. The girls, Maddie has a little bit of sun on her arms. Emmy's body looks good, but her face. So I'm, I may need a different... Uh, sunscreen. I was using Neutrogena 55. Y'all have to share. Okay. Let's all share. Um, yeah, it just, sun got you too. I'm gonna have to figure something out. And I just bought it too at Costco, so. Oh my gosh. It's never ending, you guys. I organize. We clean up. We declutter. This is, I kid you not, I have, Andres, baby, how many box, how many bags did you take to the donation, please. Four, I think. Four? Four whole trash bags taken to the donation station a couple days ago. I have two full bags in the garage right now. I have one working downstairs and one working up here. And it's still never ending. 